All right, when do you go from creating your own website and handling your own website to reaching out and having a person or a company create it for you? Well, that's one of the things, or actually two of the things that I did twice in the last year, and I'm finally gonna go over this and show the new websites and, and kind of give you some ideas on my thought process and what I went to, uh, to actually spend the money and reach out and find somebody to create my websites for me. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today, just like I said, we're gonna be going over the website, what I went through and what I thought about when I was moving from uh, not only my website, but to the Candle Supply website and getting away from handling everything myself, which I did for many years and I've actually done for much longer than the candle business itself. And of course I wanted to do a video and give a huge shout out to the couple who actually created both of my websites uh, because they did such an amazing job. So I wanted to go through and talk about the process about that, uh, kind of how they reached out to me and how we got in close contact with each other to get the websites kind of up and where they are today. And that of course is Ellie and Glenn Pearl with ecomgraduates.com and I've got links to all their stuff in the video description down below. Uh, two very good people, uh, very good designers, website designers, uh, Shopify, anything like that. So I really wanted to make this video to give them a shout out with this one because, because not only did they do an incredible job, but they reached out and they actually did my first website for free just to see what they could do or just to, so I could see what they could do with my website. And then of course I turned right around and hired them for the Candle Supply website and both of them turned out amazing. So that's what I'm gonna go over today. Uh, now, if you didn't know, if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, I might have mentioned, and some of you may know, I actually went to college for, for computer science and a, uh, <laughs> for computer science with a concentration in multimedia design. So I've done websites, I've done a lot of design. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm the greatest at it, but I know what to do. And I've also done a lot of photography, video editing, obviously. Uh, when it came to doing websites, uh, I've, I've gone through everything. I've gone through Wix, I've gone through Shopify, I use Squarespace for probably more than 10 years. And I even go way back to Dreamweaver and GeoCities. I've been creating websites and doing kind of my own thing and playing with these things for quite some time. So for me, doing my my own website wasn't that a bit wasn't that big of a deal and it was something I always thought I could save money on so I continued to do it myself and quite honestly for years I never really thought I would hire somebody to do my website because I've always done them myself and I always did a fairly decent job with them and then of course as business started to ramp up with the candles and then of course definitely with the candle supply business uh, my time started to get a lot shorter uh, the supply of my time was a lot thinner so so it was either continue to do the website myself and I was eating up uh, anywhere from a couple hours a week to 20 and 30 hours a week depending on what I was doing if it was a redesign or if I'm shooting new product photos and I really had to battle do I want to be spending 20 to 30 hours doing my website creating product photos and everything like that when I could be making a lot more product to sell and I was definitely at that point where I had the the demand for the product was very high. I really didn't have much time to devote to other things such as the website and product photos. And that's kind of where most people get to and that's where I would say your breaking point is going to be on whether or not you handle it yourself or if you hire out for the website. Now here in a second I'm going to go through and I'm going to do a uh, I've got the computer pulled up right here. I'm going to show you guys the website, the candle website and the supply website and show you what they did for me and honestly how much time they saved me from having to do this myself. And again, I'd say just getting back into the time saving aspect of this one, when I was doing my website a couple years ago, it wasn't too bad to maintain. And then of course, as products started to grow more candles, I went from 10 candles to 20 candles to maybe 30 candles, adding in things like soap, lotions, body butters, anything like that. It seems real easy to just go out, take a couple of pictures, post them on the website and you're good. Uh, and then of course, once you go from 10 products to 30 products to 60 products and on up to 100 products, that time definitely gets a lot thinner. And I was kind of at the point where I was just shooting default photos. I would get a blank label, put it on the candle, shoot it, and then I would use that one photo for every single cent that I had on the website. Now, honestly, that's really not a bad way to go. It's not the best way to go, I don't think. I think it's really good to have your full product on there, the scent, the scent on the label and everything like that. Uh, but if it does come down to it, you can really do a lot of things stylistically 
to where you could show a default label and then do some font over the top of it that would be the scent name. And honestly, depending on your creativity, you can really get away with this and it's not gonna look any different or it's not gonna look any worse than having the actual product photo with the full scent name and everything on it. So that's kind of what I stuck with for the longest time. And then I finally got to the point where I just couldn't handle it myself. Uh, all the time that I was spending on the website, I really needed to put towards other things. One, like these videos, and mainly the candle products themselves and just getting stuff uh, shipped out, boxed up, everything like that. And that's when Ellie and Glenn came into the picture. They started to message me through the DIY Facebook group, which they are members on. So if you're not a part of the DIY Facebook group, the candle group, uh, there's a link to it in the video description down below. And if you're on Facebook, just search out DIY candle making beginner to advanced and sign up and search them out. They have a lot of good examples. Uh, I know Glenn himself does a YouTube channel all about Shopify. So very good resources. Uh, Ellie is an amazing designer and I'm going to go through and show you kind of some of the stuff they did and why I'm extremely happy to shout these guys out in this video because not only did they save me a ton of time, but it looks amazing and it's definitely far better than anything I would have come up with. So we're going to go ahead and jump over. I've got the computer pulled up. I'm going to pop up the websites and just do a quick run through of each of them. Okay. So if we jump over here, I'm going to go ahead and pull up Stanley handcrafted. And you can see this one right here, uh, all the navigation across the top, uh, anything that you've got in the shop. And if I want to do my own, uh, if I want to add more categories to this one, it's extremely easy. The, uh, the back end of Shopify, if you haven't used it, is incredibly simple. But just going through this one, you've got the main photo right there, which I actually need to switch out because I no longer sell this version of this tin. I've got a newer tin. Uh, <laughs> that you can find on West Sound Candle Supply and DIYCandlesupply.com. And then uh, I've got the nine ounce straight jars and this is what I'm talking about and I still need to go through and this is where I'm struggling with hiring somebody else to do the product photography for my photos because you can see right here, I've got the candle label, it's just blank. This is the exact label that I use on this jar but you can see that I've got no scent name on there and I haven't done anything uh, as far as putting fonts over the top of it. You can just see what the candle looks like. Uh, things that they added in were the in-stock items, which I think is really nice, especially on the candle website. Uh, it kind of gives uh, customers a sense of urgency. So if you're down to one or two candles, they're gonna see it right here. There's only six items left. And then of course, links to other things on the website, which is really nice. Go back to the main page. And adding things like this, again, is really easy. So I have the signature cotton wicks, uh, the rustic jar, and if I wanted to add a third one down here, again, it's really simple to jump over to Shopify's admin panel and just add that stuff in. <coughs> uh, the reviews, and then of course videos, me and my daughter, me several pounds ago. <laughs> And then if we go back up to the top here, it's got everything on here. So contact us page, consulting, uh, a lot, the how-to section, which has a bunch of the calculators. Uh, but just really nice setup with this one. And again, I didn't have to spend any time going through this one and doing it myself. And I could spend that time actually making candles. So we're gonna jump over to West Sound Candle Supply. Uh, the Stanley Handcrafted website, they reached out and they said, hey, we're just gonna give you uh, kind of a, uh, a stripped down template, which they offer to a lot of candle makers, so definitely check them out. They said, we're gonna show you uh, this template, tell us which one you like, and we're just gonna go ahead and implement it on your website, free of charge, so see, just so that you can see what we do. <clears throat> And I do know that they offer that one to other candle makers. So definitely, if you like the Stanley Handcrafted website and you like the template and the way it feels and the way it moves from, uh, from page to page, definitely reach out to them. And then this one, they actually went through and created a much more custom website for me. I went in, the details on this one, they would have to explain, but they really went in and created a lot more, like I said, a lot more customization with this one. And uh, I mean, the little glare that goes over the photos, just little things like that that really add to the website. Uh, again, things that I wouldn't have known to do, even with uh, my knowledge of websites and knowing kind of how to create a basic website. <clears throat> and 
and then the new vessels, the different wicks, the books, everything like that. And then of course, the slide in videos right there, another really nice touch. And then this one goes into a lot more, uh, a lot more categories when it comes to the menu system, which is really good. The other profile or the other website uh, is a little bit more stripped down. Like I said, this one, they went into a lot more detail. The shop section, which again, if I needed to go in here and add another section of wax melters, I could easily do that in the back end panel. And then we'll go ahead and jump over to the glass vessels and again, everything on here. And there still is a little bit more customiz customization I can do with this one. So if I wanted to arrange these a little bit more, instead of having four going across the top and I wanted six or three or two or anything like that, those are easy adjustments uh, that they've kind of created for me in the back end. All right, that's pretty much it with that one. I just wanted to go through, show the website, and definitely shout out Glenn and Ellie Pearl with ecomgraduates.com. And I will say, they definitely went really above and beyond with this one. And one of the things I was gonna mention later in this video that I mentioned earlier was kind of how they went about this one. They reached out to me in the group, and this is what I tell a lot of candle makers out there to do, is if you wanna get your stuff shown, if you wanna kind of get jobs or get into shops or anything like that, it's always a good idea to just continually reach out to the places where you wanna be. Reach out to the shops that you wanna be in. Reach out to the influencers that you wanna be with. So if you wanted to have your candles in the hands of somebody who might get you a little bit more exposure, reach out to them, send them messages. Uh, and what these guys did and they didn't have to do was they reached out and they offered a free version or a free, basically a free website, which was the Stanley Handcrafted. And again, it doesn't have to be anything huge. Although I do know that the website that they gave me for free with the stanleyhandcrafted.com uh, is definitely a lot of work. They really put in some effort with this one. And I know that because like I said, I've done websites before. So I know the kind of thought that went into that one. But when I say you don't have to put a ton of effort into it is you really don't, like if you wanted to give your candles out to somebody, you don't need to send them dozens of candles. If you sent one or two, that gesture, that thought, and that end goal of having someone see your candles to potentially promote them for you is gonna make its mark. It's gonna, it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. Uh, and of course, sending out one or two candles isn't really that much out of your bottom line. It's really not much effort to send out one or two candles. And it can really go a long way because you never know who's gonna get that candle love it and then order 30, 40 or 100 more. And in my case, it was a brand new website. So once I saw what Ellie and Glenn did for me, the website looked so good that when I was creating West Sound Candle Supply, I knew that I was gonna have somebody create the website for me and they're the first people that I went with. And of course, for anybody that's watching this, if you're in the market for a website, definitely reach out to them. Like I said, they have some pre-made templates for candle makers. Uh, that's one of the things that I believe they have on their website and if not, reach out to them in the DIY Candle Group and they're more than happy to go through and talk about all of this stuff with you. But it is absolutely a great option to go with and a huge time saver. And honestly, even with the money I put forward on the website, it's a huge money saver for me because it's, it's time that I'm not putting in, like I said, creating something else, spending 30, 40 hours uh, a week or so on a website when I can put that effort towards more videos, more products, more candles, uh, more marketing, anything like that. So in the long term, it really saves me money even though I spent money. And that is it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and of course hit the bell notification if you wanna be notified when new videos launch. And we'll see you in the next video.